Had you any clue as to what you were going to find? A little snippets, you know, because your your father used we... to sort of farm the land before, so we'd yeah. seen little bits, but, yeah, but we... of course a lot was covered in. Strange pieces of masonry scattered around the land intrigued the couple, but when they investigated one in particular, it literally opened a door to another world. The ground level was, uh, you know, what's that, 10 foot tall, so there was a rock face here with just the step peeking out underneath. So, of course, we curiosity meant we had to find out was it going up, was it going down, or was it going anywhere? As a local farmer, John was used to heavy work, but as they uncovered even more unusual stonework and carvings, it became a full-scale excavation project. It took them four years, but in that time, they reclaimed this lost paradise. But it's what they discovered underground that's really incredible. This is like being on an Indiana Jones movie set, except that it's real. So this one is the Lion Grotto. Wow! Beneath the surface is a Victorian grotto of elaborate tunnels and caverns, now repopulated with ferns and palms, just as they would have been almost a century and a half ago. Another grotto. Fancy finding this. <laughs> Grottos were a 19th century obsession. So who was behind this one? It was the work of the Victorian grotto gods, Pullum and Son, who even built gardens for the royal family. And another one. We're probably back in England now. <laughs> Pullum and Son's skill was combining real stones with their patented fake stone cement, Pullamite, to create a natural-looking scheme. The thing is, it doesn't just look like stone. I mean, it actually does feel like stone. When you hit it, you can't tell. But exactly what their stone was made of remains a mystery. It's always talked of as a secret recipe. How secret do you reckon it is? I'm not aware of the secret of the Pullum <laughs> recipe, but uh, we recreate it by using sand and cement. The clever bit is the sculpting of it once, once you've laid the cement. I think the talent is definitely with the rock builders who could create different stratas and boulders, and they were hugely skillful, yeah. They created this kind of magical kingdom of Narnia. I absolutely love it. It's very, very exciting. <laughs> During and after the Second World War, gardens up and down the land were given over to food production, and this garden was no different. Except, once it was filled in, no-one till now bothered to dig it back up again. <laughs>